In Alabama, hospitalizations are nearing the peak we saw at the end of July. The number of COVID patients in the hospital is up 45% in the first week of November, and that's compared to all of last month. Healthcare workers, as you can imagine, are feeling the impact, and our Kelly Kennedy tells us what we need to do to prevent another surge. This is not a battle, it's a war, and it's a little bit different uh, in, in war. Typically, you try to rotate your troops out. Um, in this particular war with COVID-19, there's no place to rotate. Um, the, our, our teams are in there and they're working. Madison County continues to see new COVID cases and more hospitalizations, putting a strain on our local health care workers. For the month of October, we averaged 50 cases a day. But in the last seven days in November, we averaged 76 cases a day. But there is some good news. Monoclonal antibody treatments for people who aren't sick enough to be hospitalized could be approved in the next few months. And just yesterday, Pfizer announced their potential vaccine has proven 90% effective in clinical trials. Once a vaccine is approved, it will be distributed in three phases. The first phase is getting the vaccine out to healthcare workers. The goal would be, and I've heard the goal is in the January, February timeframe, to try to vaccinate the people that are caring for the rest of our community so that they can continue to do that. Phase two is vaccinating high risk patients. The third phase is giving it to anyone who wants it. But for now, leaders say we must stay vigilant as we celebrate this holiday season. You have uh, Veterans Day tomorrow. We have Thanksgiving coming up. We have Christmas coming up, all the holiday parties. People will be getting together. And, uh, and even though we have good news right now, the good news is that there's treatment. The good news is that they're working a vaccine. It's not not going to be ready for this holiday season. Health officials hope a COVID vaccine will be widely available by the summer. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.